Minsk Belarusian, Minsk pronounced Minsk, Russian Minsk is the capital and largest city of Belarus, situated on the Svislak and the Nyamiha rivers. As the national capital, Minsk has a special administrative status in Belarus and is the administrative center of Minsk region and Minsk district the population in January 2018 was 1,982,444, not including suburbs, making Minsk the 11th most populous city in Europe. Minsk is the administrative capital of the Commonwealth of Independent States CIS, and seat of its executive secretary. The earliest historical references to Minsk date to the 11th century 1067, when it was noted as a provincial city within the Principality of Polesk. The settlement developed on the rivers. In 1242, Minsk became part of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. It received town privileges in 1499. From 1569, it was a capital of the Minsk Voivodeship, in the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. It was part of a region annexed by the Russian Empire in 1793, as a consequence of the Second Partition of Poland. From 1919 to 1991, after the Russian Revolution, Minsk was the capital of the Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic, in the Soviet Union. In June 2019, Minsk will host the 2019 European Games. Tourists who have accreditation cards or tickets to sporting events can visit the country from 10 June till 10 July 2019 without a visa. Topic etymology and historical names The Old East Slavic name of the town was Munsk i.e. Mensk. Topic History Topic Early History The area of today's Minsk was settled by the early East Slavs by the 9th century AD. The Svislak River Valley was the settlement boundary between two early East Slav tribes, the Kriviks and Dregoviches. By 980, the area was incorporated into the early medieval Principality of Polesk, one of the earliest East Slav principalities of Old Rus state. Minsk was first mentioned in the name form Menesk, Emnesk in the primary chronicle for the year 1067 in association with the battle on the river Nemiga. 1067 is now widely accepted as the founding year of Minsk. City authorities consider the date of 3 March 1067, to be the exact founding date of the city, though the town by then fortified by wooden walls had certainly existed for some time by then. The origin of the name is unknown, but there are several theories. In the early 12th century, the Principality of Polesk disintegrated into smaller fiefs. The Principality of Minsk was established by one of the Polisk dynasty princes. In 1129, the Principality of Minsk was annexed by Kiev, the dominant Principality of Kievan Rus, however in 1146 the Polisk dynasty regained control of the Principality. By 1150, Minsk rivaled Polisk as the major city in the former Principality of Polisk. The princes of Minsk and Polisk were engaged in years of struggle trying to unite all lands previously under the rule of Polisk. Late Middle Ages Minsk escaped the Mongol invasion of Rus in 1237–1239. In 1242, Minsk became a part of the expanding Grand Duchy of Lithuania. It joined peacefully and local elites enjoyed high rank in the society of the Grand Duchy. In 1413, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and Kingdom of Poland entered into a union. Minsk became the center of Minsk Voivodeship province. 
In 1441, the Polish-Lithuanian prince and future king Casimir IV included Minsk in a list of cities enjoying certain privileges, and in 1499, during the reign of his son, Alexander I Jagiellon, Minsk received town privileges under Magdeburg law. In 1569, after the Union of Lublin, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the Kingdom of Poland merged into a single state, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Afterwards, a Polish community including government clerks, officers and craftsmen settled in Minsk. By the middle of the 16th century, Minsk was an important economic and cultural center in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. It was also an important center for the Eastern Orthodox Church. Following the Union of Brest, both the Uniate Church and the Roman Catholic Church increased in influence. In 1655, Minsk was conquered by troops of Tsar Alexei of Russia. Russians governed the city until 1660 when it was regained by John II Casimir, King of Poland. By the end of the Polish–Russian War, Minsk had only about 2,000 residents and just 300 houses. The second wave of devastation occurred during the Great Northern War, when Minsk was occupied in 1708 and 1709 by the army of Charles XII of Sweden and then by the army of Peter the Great. The last decades of the Polish rule involved decline or very slow development, since Minsk had become a small provincial town of little economic or military significance. <laughs> <laughs> Russian rule Minsk was annexed by Russia in 1793 as a consequence of the Second Partition of Poland. In 1796, it became the center of the Minsk Governorate. All of the initial street names were replaced by Russian names, though the spelling of the city's name remained unchanged. It was briefly occupied by the Grand Army during French invasion of Russia in 1812. Throughout the 19th century, the city continued to grow and significantly improve. In the 1830s, major streets and squares of Minsk were cobbled and paved. A first public library was opened in 1836, and a fire brigade was put into operation in 1837. In 1838, the first local newspaper, Minskia Gubinskie Vodomosti Minsk Province News went into circulation. The first theatre was established in 1844. By 1860, Minsk was an important trading city with a population of 27,000. There was a construction boom that led to the building of two- and three-story brick and stone houses in Upper Town. Minsk's development was boosted by improvements in transportation. In 1846, the Moscow-Warsaw Road was laid through Minsk. In 1871, a railway link between Moscow and Warsaw ran via Minsk, and in 1873, a new railway from Romney in Ukraine to the Baltic Sea port of Libava was also constructed. Thus Minsk became an important rail junction and a manufacturing hub. A municipal water supply was introduced in 1872, the telephone in 1890, the horse tram in 1892, and the first power generator in 1894. By 1900, Minsk had 58 factories employing 3,000 workers. The city also boasted theaters, cinemas, newspapers, schools and colleges, as well as numerous monasteries, churches, synagogues, and a mosque. According to the 1897 Russian census, the city had 91,494 inhabitants, with some 47,561 Jews constituting more than half of the city population. Topic: 20th century. In the early years of the 20th century, Minsk was a major center for the workers' movement in Belarus. 
the first Congress of the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party, the forerunner to the Bolsheviks and eventually the CPSU, was held there in 1898. It was also one of the major centers of the Belarusian National Revival, alongside Vilnia. However, the First World War affected the development of Minsk tremendously. By 1915, Minsk was a battlefront city. Some factories were closed down, and residents began evacuating to the east. Minsk became the headquarters of the Western Front of the Russian Army and also housed military hospitals and military supply bases. The Russian Revolution had an immediate effect in Minsk. A workers' Soviet was established in Minsk in October 1917, drawing much of its support from disaffected soldiers and workers. After the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, German forces occupied Minsk on 21 February 1918. On 25 March 1918, Minsk was proclaimed the capital of the Belarusian People's Republic. The Republic was short lived. In December 1918, Minsk was taken over by the Red Army. In January 1919, Minsk was proclaimed the capital of the Belorussian SSR, though later in 1919 see Operation Minsk and again in 1920, the city was controlled by the Second Polish Republic during the course of the Polish Bolshevik War between 8 August 1919 and of July 1920, and again between 14 October 1920 and 19 March 1921. Under the terms of the Peace of Riga, Minsk was handed back to the Russian SFSR and became the capital of the Belorussian SSR, one of the founding republics of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. A program of reconstruction and development was begun in 1922. By 1924, there were 29 factories in operation, schools, museums, theaters, and libraries were also established. Throughout the 1920s and the 1930s, Minsk saw rapid development with dozens of new factories being built and new schools, colleges, higher education establishments, hospitals, theaters and cinemas being opened. During this period, Minsk was also a center for the development of Belarusian language and culture. Before the Second World War, Minsk had a population of 300,000 people. After Germany invaded the Soviet Union on the 22nd of June 1941 as part of Operation Barbarossa, Minsk immediately came under attack. The city was bombed on the first day of the invasion and came under Wehrmacht control 4 days later. However, some factories, museums and tens of thousands of civilians had been evacuated to the east. The Germans designated Minsk the administrative center of Reichskommissariat Ostland. Communists and sympathizers were killed or imprisoned, both locally and after being transported to Germany. Homes were requisitioned to house invading German forces. Thousands starved as food was seized by the German army and paid work was scarce. Minsk was the site of one of the largest Nazi-run ghettos in the Second World War, temporarily housing over 100,000 Jews see Minsk ghetto. Some anti-Soviet residents of Minsk, who hoped that Belarus could regain independence, did support the Germans, especially at the beginning of the occupation, but by 1942, Minsk had become a major center of the Soviet partisan resistance movement against the invasion, in what is known as the German-Soviet War. For this role, Minsk was awarded the title Hero City in 1974. Minsk was recaptured by Soviet troops on 3 July 1944, during Operation Bagration. The city was the center of German resistance to the Soviet advance and saw heavy fighting during the first half of 1944. Factories, municipal buildings, power stations, bridges, most roads and 80% of the houses were reduced to rubble. In 1944, Minsk's population was reduced to a mere 50,000. After the Second World War, Minsk was rebuilt, but not reconstructed. 
The historical center was replaced in the 1940s and 1950s by Stalinist architecture, which favored grand buildings, broad avenues and wide squares. Subsequently, the city grew rapidly as a result of massive industrialization. Since the 1960s Minsk's population has also grown apace, reaching 1 million in 1972 and 1 1.5 million in 1986. Construction of Minsk Metro began on 16 June 1977, and the system was opened to the public on 30 June 1984, becoming the ninth metro system in the Soviet Union. The rapid population growth was primarily driven by mass migration of young, unskilled workers from rural areas of Belarus, as well as by migration of skilled workers from other parts of the Soviet Union. To house the expanding population, Minsk spread beyond its historical boundaries. Its surrounding villages were absorbed and rebuilt as microrayons, districts of high-density apartment housing. <laughs> Recent developments Throughout the 1990s, after the fall of communism, the city continued to change. As the capital of a newly independent country, Minsk quickly acquired the attributes of a major city. Embassies were opened, and a number of Soviet administrative buildings became government centers. During the early and mid-1990s, Minsk was hit by an economic crisis and many development projects were halted, resulting in high unemployment and underemployment. Since the late 1990s, there have been improvements in transport and infrastructure, and a housing boom has been underway since 2002. On the outskirts of Minsk, new microrayons of residential development have been built. Metro lines have been extended, and the road system including the Minsk Beltway has been improved. In the recent years Minsk has been continuously decentralizing, and with a third line of Minsk Metro set to open in 2020, the city is expected to change even further. More development is planned for several areas outside the city center, while the future of the older neighborhoods is still unclear. Geography Minsk is located on the southeastern slope of the Minsk Hills, a region of rolling hills running from the southwest upper reaches of the river Nyaman to the northeast, that is, to Lukomske Lake in northwestern Belarus. The average altitude above sea level is 220 meters (720 feet). The physical geography of Minsk was shaped over the two most recent ice ages. The Svislak River, which flows across the city from the northwest to the southeast, is in the Erstromtal, an ancient river valley formed by water flowing from melting ice sheets at the end of the last ice age. There are six smaller rivers within the city limits, all part of the Black Sea Basin. Minsk is in the area of mixed forests typical of most of Belarus. Pinewood and mixed forests border the edge of the city, especially in the north and east. Some of the forests were preserved as parks for instance, the Chelyuskinites Park as the city grew. The city was initially built on the hills, which allowed for defensive fortifications, and the western parts of the city are the most hilly. Climate Minsk has a warm summer humid continental climate though unpredictable many a times, owing to its location between the strong influence of the moist air of the Atlantic Ocean and the dry air of the Eurasian landmass. Its weather is unstable and tends to change relatively often. The average January temperature is minus 4.5 degrees Celsius, 23.9 degrees Fahrenheit, while the average July temperature is 18.5 degrees Celsius, 65.3 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The lowest temperature was recorded on the 17th of January 1940 at minus 40 degrees Celsius, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and the warmest on the 29th of July 1936 at 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and on the 3rd of August 2014 at 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. There are frequent fogs, common in the autumn and spring. Minsk receives annual precipitation of 690 mm in, of which one-third falls during the cold period as snow and, rain, and two-thirds in the warm period. Throughout the year, most winds are westerly and northwesterly, bringing cool and moist air from the Atlantic. Similar climatic regimes are found in Stockholm, Sweden and in Halifax, Canada. Topic: <inaudible> Ecological situation. The ecological situation is monitored by Republican Center of Radioactive and Environmental Control. During 2003 to 2008, the overall weight of contaminants increased from 186,000 to 247,400 tons. The change from gas as industrial fuel to mazot for financial reasons has worsened the ecological situation. However, the majority of overall air pollution is produced by cars. Belarusian traffic police die every year hold Operation Clean Air to prevent the use of cars with extremely polluting engines. Sometimes the maximum normative concentration of formaldehyde and ammonia in air is exceeded in Zavodsky district. Other major contaminants are chromium VI and nitrogen dioxide. Zavodsky, Partizansky and Leninsky districts, which are situated in the southeastern part of Minsk, are the most polluted areas in the city. Demographics Population growth Asterisk census Ethnic groups During its first centuries, Minsk was a city with a predominantly early East Slavic population the forefathers of modern-day Belarusians. After the 1569 Polish-Lithuanian Union, the city became a destination for migrating Poles who worked as administrators, clergy, teachers and soldiers and Jews Ashkenazim, who worked in the retail trade and as craftsmen, as other opportunities were prohibited by discrimination laws. During the last centuries of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, many Minsk residents became Polonized, adopting the language of the dominant Poles and assimilating to its culture. After the Second Partition of Poland-Lithuania in 1793, Minsk and its larger region became part of the Russian Empire. The Russians dominated the city's culture as had the Poles in earlier centuries. At the time of the 1897 census under the Russian Empire, Jews were the largest ethnic group in Minsk, at 52% of the population, with 47,500 of the 91,000 residents. Other substantial ethnic groups were Russians (25.5%), Poles percent and Belarusians (9%). The latter figure may be not accurate as some local Belarusians were likely counted as Russians. A small traditional community of Lipka Tatars had been living in Minsk for centuries. Between the 1880s and 1930s, many Jews, as well as peasants from other backgrounds, emigrated from the city to the United States as part of a Belarusian diaspora. The high mortality of the First World War and the Second World War affected the demographics of the city, particularly the destruction of Jews under the Nazi occupation of the Second World War. Working through local populations, Germans instituted deportation of Jewish citizens to concentration camps, murdering most of them there. 
The Jewish community of Minsk suffered catastrophic losses in the Holocaust. From more than half the population of the city, the percentage of Jews dropped to less than 10% more than 10 years after the war. After its limited population peaked in the 1970s, continuing anti-Semitism under the Soviet Union and increasing nationalism in Belarus caused most Jews to emigrate to Israel and Western countries in the 1980s. By 1999, less than 1% of the population of Minsk was Jewish. In the first three decades of the post-war years, the most numerous new residents in Minsk were rural migrants from other parts of Belarus. The Portion of ethnic Belarusians increased markedly. Numerous skilled Russians and other migrants from other parts of the Soviet Union migrated for jobs in the growing manufacturing sector. In 1959 Belarusians made up 63.3% of the city's residents. Other ethnic groups included Russians 22.8%, Jews 7.8%, Ukrainians 3.6%, Poles 1.1% and Tatars 0.4%. Continued migration from rural Belarus in the 1960s and 1970s changed the ethnic composition further. By 1979 Belarusians made up 68.4% of the city's residents. Other ethnic groups included Russians 22.2%, Jews 3.4%, Ukrainians 3.4%, Poles 1.2% and Tatars 0.2%. According to the 1989 census, 82% of Minsk residents have been born in Belarus. Of those, 43% have been born in Minsk and 39% in other parts of Belarus. 6.2% of Minsk residents came from regions of western Belarus Grodno and Brest regions and 13% from eastern Belarus Mogilev, Vitebsk and Gomel regions. 21.4% of residents came from central Belarus Minsk region. .According to the 1999 census, Belarusians make up 79.3% of the city's residents. Other ethnic groups include Russians 15.7%, Ukrainians 2.4%, Poles 1.1% and Jews 0.6%. The Russian and Ukrainian populations of Minsk peaked in the late 1980s at 325,000 and 55,000 respectively. After the breakup of the Soviet Union and increased nationalism in Belarus creating hostility to ethnic Russians and Ukrainians, many of them chose to move to their respective mother countries, although some families had been in Minsk for generations. Another factor in the shifting demographics of the city was the changing self-identification of Minsk residents of mixed ancestry in independent Belarus. They identify as Belarusians. The Jewish population of Minsk peaked in the early 1970s at 50,000 according to official figures. Independent estimates put the figure at between 100,000 and 120,000. Beginning in the 1980s, there has been mass-scale emigration to Israel, the U.S., and Germany. Today only about 10,000 Jews live in Minsk. The traditional minorities of Poles and Tatars have remained at much the same size 17,000 and 3,000 respectively. Rural Poles have migrated from the western part of Belarus to Minsk, and many Tatars have moved to Minsk from Tatarstan. Some more recent ethnic minority communities have developed as a result of immigration. The most prominent are immigrants from the Caucasus countries, Armenians, Azerbaijanis, and Georgians, each numbering about 2,000 to 5,000. They began migrating to Minsk in the 1970s, and more immigrants have joined them since. Many work in the retail trade in open-air markets. A small but prominent Arab community has developed in Minsk, primarily represented by recent economic immigrants from Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Algeria, etc. In many cases, they are graduates of Minsk universities who decide to settle in Belarus and bring over their families. 
A small community of Romani, numbering about 2,000, are settled in suburbs of northwestern and southern Minsk. Languages Throughout its history Minsk has been a city of many languages. Initially most of its residents spoke Ruthenian which later developed into modern Belarusian. However, after 1569 the official language was Polish. In the 19th century Russian became the official language and by the end of that century it had become the language of administration, schools and newspapers. The Belarusian National Revival increased interest in the Belarusian language, its use has grown since the 1890s, especially among the intelligentsia. In the 1920s and early 1930s Belarusian was the major language of Minsk, including use for administration and education both secondary and tertiary. However, since the late 1930s Russian again began gaining dominance, a short period of Belarusian national revival in the early 1990s saw a rise in the numbers of Belarusian speakers. However, in 1994 the newly elected president Alexander Lukashenko slowly reversed this trend. Most residents of Minsk now use Russian exclusively in their everyday lives at home and at work, although Belarusian is understood as well. Substantial numbers of recent migrants from the rural areas use Trazianka, a Russo-Belarusian mixed language, in their everyday lives. The most commonly used and understood foreign language in Minsk, especially among the younger generation, is English. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. <inaudible> There are no reliable statistics on the religious affiliations of those living in Minsk, or among the population of Belarus generally. The majority of Christians belong to the Belarusian Orthodox Church, which is the exarchate of the Russian Orthodox Church in Belarus. There is a significant minority of Roman Catholics. As of 2006, there are approximately 30 religious communities of various denominations in Minsk. Crime Minsk has the highest crime rate in Belarus 193.5 crimes per 10,000 citizens. 20–25% of all serious crimes in Belarus, 55% of bribes and 67% of mobile phone thefts are committed in Minsk. However, Attorney General Grigory Vasilevich stated that homicide rate in Minsk in 2008 was, "...relatively fine." Crime rate grew significantly in 2009 and 2010, for example, number of corruption crimes grew by 36% in 2009 alone. Crime detection level varies from 13% in burglary to 92% in homicide with an average 40.1%. Many dwellers are concerned for their safety at night and the strongest concern was expressed by residents of Chizouka and Shabani microdistricts both in Zavodsky district, the SIZ-01 detention center, IK-1 general prison, and the KGB special jail called, Amerikanka, are all located in Minsk. Alexander Lukashenko's rivals in the 2010 presidential election were imprisoned in the KGB jail along with other prominent politicians and civil activists. Ailes Mishalevic, who was kept in this jail, accused the KGB of using torture. Economy <inaudible> 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 Minsk is the economic capital of Belarus. It has developed industrial and services sectors which serve the needs not only of the city, but of the entire nation. Minsk's contributions form nearly 46% of Belarusian budget. According to 2010 results, Minsk paid 15 trillion Belarusian rubles to state budget while the whole income from all other regions was 19.9 trillion Belarusian rubles. 
In the period January 2013 to October 2013, 70.6% of taxes in the budget of Minsk were paid by non-state enterprises, 26.3% by state enterprises, and 1.8% by individual entrepreneurs. Among the top 10 taxpayers were five oil and gas companies including two Gazproms and one Lukoil subsidiaries, two mobile network operators MTS and Velcom, two companies producing alcoholic beverages Minsk Crystal and Minsk Grape Wines Factory and one producer of tobacco goods. In 2012, gross regional product of Minsk was formed mainly by industry 26.4%, wholesale 19.9% percent transportation and communications 12.3% retail 8.6% and construction 5.8% GRP of Minsk measured in rubles was 13 billion dollars or one quarter of gross domestic product of Belarus Topic industry Minsk is the major industrial center of Belarus According to 2012 statistics, Minsk-based companies produced 21.5% of electricity, 76% of trucks, 15.9% of footwear, 89.3% of television sets, 99.3% of washing machines, 30% of chocolate, 27.7% of distilled alcoholic beverages and 19.7% of tobacco goods in Belarus. Today the city has has over 250 factories and plants. Its industrial development started in the 1860s and was facilitated by the railways built in the 1870s. However, much of the industrial infrastructure was destroyed during World War I and especially during World War II. After the last war the development of the city was linked to the development of industry, especially of R&D intensive sectors heavy emphasis of R&D intensive industries in urban development in the USSR is known in Western geography as Minsk phenomenon. Minsk was turned into a major production site for trucks, tractors, gears, optical equipment, refrigerators, television sets and radios, bicycles, motorcycles, watches, and metal processing equipment. Outside machine building and electronics, Minsk also had textiles, construction materials, food processing, and printing industries. During the Soviet period, development of the industries was linked to suppliers and markets within the USSR, and the breakup of the Union in 1991 led to a serious economic meltdown in 1991–1994. However, since the adoption of the Neo-Keynesian policies under Alexander Lukashenko's government in 1995, much of the gross industrial production was regained. Unlike many other cities in the CIS and Eastern Europe Minsk was not heavily de-industrialized in the 1990s. About 40% of the workforce is still employed in the manufacturing sector. Over 70% of produced goods are exported from Belarus, especially to Russia and other members of the Commonwealth of Independent States. However, the recent industrial revival did not lead to updating technologies and equipment as FDI was discouraged, therefore much of the local industry is not highly competitive by international standards. Major industrial employers include, Minsk Tractor Plant, specialized in manufacturing tractors. Established in 1946 in eastern Minsk, is among major manufacturers of wheeled tractors in the CIS employs about 30,000 staff. Minsk Automobile Plant, specializing in producing trucks, buses and minivans. Established in 1944 in southeastern Minsk, is among major vehicle manufacturers in the CIS. Minsk Refrigerator Plant also known as Atlant specialized in manufacturing household goods, such as refrigerators, freezers, and recently also of washing machines. Established in 1959 in northwest of the city. Horizont, specialized in producing TV sets, audio and video electronics. Established in 1950 in north-central Minsk. 
Topic: <inaudible> Unemployment. <inaudible> 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 In 2011 official statistics quote unemployment in Minsk at 0.3%. During the 2009 census 5.6% of Minsk residents of employable age called themselves unemployed. The government discourages official unemployment registration with tiny unemployment benefits 70,000 Belarusian rubles approximately equals $7 per month and obligatory public works. <laughs> <laughs> government and administrative divisions Currently Minsk is subdivided into nine rayons districts. In addition, a number of residential neighborhoods are recognized in Minsk, called microdistricts, with no separate administration. Culture Minsk is the major cultural center of Belarus. Its first theatres and libraries were established in the middle of the 19th century. Now it has 11 theatres and 16 museums. There are 20 cinemas and 139 libraries. <laughs> <laughs> Churches The Orthodox Cathedral of the Holy Spirit is actually the former church of the Bernardine Convent. It was built in the simplified Baroque style in 1642–87 and went through renovations in 1741–46 and 1869. The Cathedral of St. Mary was built by the Jesuits as their principal church in 1700–10, restored in 1951 and 1997, it overlooks the recently restored 18th-century City Hall, located on the other side of the Liberty Square. Two other historic churches are the Cathedral of St. Joseph, formerly affiliated with the Bernardine Monastery, built in 1644–52 and repaired in 1983, and the fortified Church of Sts. Peter and Paul, originally built in the 1620s and recently restored, complete with its flanking twin towers. The impressive Neo-Romanesque Roman Catholic Red Church Cathedral of Sts. Simeon and Helen was built in 1906–10 immediately after religious freedoms were proclaimed in Imperial Russia and the Tsar allowed dissidents to build their churches. The largest church built in the Russian Imperial period of the town's history is dedicated to St. Mary Magdalene. Many Orthodox churches were built after the dissolution of the USSR in a variety of styles, although most remained true to the Neo-Russian idiom. A good example is St. Elizabeth's Convent, founded in 1999. Cemeteries Calvaria Calvary Cemetery is the oldest surviving cemetery in the city. Many famous people of Belarus are buried here. The cemetery was closed to new burials in the 1960s. Military Cemetery Eastern Cemetery Sizuskija Cemetery Northern Cemetery Theatres Major theatres are National Academic Grand Opera and Ballet Theatre of the Republic of Belarus Belarusian State Musical Theatre performances in Russian Maxim Gorky National Drama Theatre performances in Russian Yanka Kupala National Drama Theatre performances in Belarusian Topic Museums Major museums include Belarusian National Arts Museum Belarusian Great Patriotic War Museum Belarusian National History and Culture Museum Belarusian Nature and Environment Museum 
Maxim Bardanovich Literary Museum Old Belarusian History Museum Yanka Kupala Literary Museum Art galleries include U Gallery Recreation areas Chelyuskinites Park Children's Railroad Gorky Park Minsk Yanka Kupala Park Topic Cinemas List of cinemas in Minsk Silver Screen Cinemas in Galileo Shopping Center In Aranacity Shopping Center In Dana Mall Ushod Metro Stop Velcom Third Floor Central Nage 3D English Central 3D Cinema in Shopping Center Zamok Zamok Avrora Avrora 3D Avtakino Tiet Avtakino Tiet Belarus Belarus Bisti Birashi 3D Vorek Respubliki Palak Respubliki 3D Domkino Domkino Kiev Kiev 3D Komsomolik Kamsomolyek Mia Mia 3D Moskva Maskva Muekino Muekino Oktaba Oktaba Pioneer Pioneer Hobeda Piaramoa Raketa Raketa Salu Saliat 3D Topic Tourism There are more than 400 travel agencies in Minsk about a quarter of them provide agent activity and most of them are tour operators Topic Sports Topic Football FC Dynamo Minsk FC Minsk FC Torpedo Minsk Topic Ice Hockey HC Dynamo Minsk HC Unost Minsk Topic Handball Ska Minsk Topic Basketball BC Smoky Minsk Topic International Sporting Events Minsk hosted the twenty fourteen IIHF World Championship at the Minsk Arena. In January twenty sixteen, the twenty sixteen European Speed Skating Championships were held in the Minsk Arena. Minsk Arena is the only indoor speed skating rink in Belarus. On 21 October 2016, it was confirmed by the European Olympic Committee that Minsk will host the 2019 European Games. The 2019 European Figure Skating Championships were held in the Minsk Arena from 21 to 27 January. Transport Topic Local Transport Minsk has an extensive public transport system. Passengers are served by eight tramway lines, over 70 trolleybus lines, two subway lines, and over 100 bus lines. Trams were the first public transport used in Minsk, since 1892 the horse tram, and since 1929 the electric tram. 
Public buses have been used in Minsk since 1924, and trolleybuses since 1952. All public transport is operated by Minstrans, a government owned and funded transport not for profit company. As of January 2008, Minstrans used 1,420 buses, 1,010 trolleybuses, and 153 tramway cars in Minsk. The Minsk city government in 2003 decreed that local transport provision should be set at a minimum level of one vehicle, bus, trolleybus, or tram per 1,500 residents. Currently the number of vehicles in use by Minstrans is 2.2 times higher than the minimum level. Public transport fares are controlled by city's executive committee, city council. Single trip ticket for bus, trolley bus or tramway costs 60 Belarusian kapikas, approximately equals 30 United States cents, 65 Belarusian kapikas for metro and 75 Belarusian kapikas for express buses. Monthly ticket for one kind of transport costs 27 Belarusian rubles and 49 Belarusian rubles for all four. Commercial marshrutka's prices varies from 1.5 to 2 Belarusian rubles. Topic: Rapid Transit. Minsk is the only city in Belarus with an underground metro system. Construction of the metro began in 1977, soon after the city reached over a million people, and the first line with eight stations was opened in 1984. Since then it has expanded into two lines, Maskuskaha and Ortazavodskaya, which are 18.1 and 17.3 km long with 14 and 14 stations, respectively. On 7 November 2012, three new stations on the Moskovskaya line were opened. Work continues on a 1.8 km extension, with one more station slated to open in 2014. There are plans for a network with three lines totaling, based on present expansion plans, 58.3 km of track with 45 stations and three train depots. For this to happen the third line should cut the city on a north-south axis crossing the existing two and thus forming a typical Soviet triangle layout. Construction of the third line is expected to begin in 2011 and for the first stage to be delivered in the late 2010s. Some layout plans speculate on a possible fourth line running from Vyazniyanka to Serebrenka micro rayons. As of 2013, Minsk Metro had 28 stations and 35.5 kilometers (22 miles) of tracks. Trains use 243 standard Russian Metro cars. On a typical day, Minsk Metro is used by 800,000 passengers. In 2007 ridership of Minsk Metro was 262.1 million passengers, in 2017 ridership of Minsk Metro was 284.1 million passengers, making it the fifth busiest metro network in the former USSR behind Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kiev and Kharkiv. During peak hours trains run each 2 to 2.5 minutes. The metro network employs 3,200 staff, currently most of the urban transport is being actively renovated and upgraded to modern standards. For instance, all metro stations built since 2001 have passenger lifts from platform to street level, thus enabling the use of the newer stations by disabled passengers. Topic. Railway and intercity bus Minsk is the largest transport hub in Belarus. Minsk is located at the junction of the Warsaw Moscow Railway, built in 1871, running from the southwest to the northeast of the city, and the Lyapaya Romney Railway, built in 1873, running from the northwest to the south. 
The first railway connects Russia with Poland and Germany, the second connects Ukraine with Lithuania and Latvia. They cross at the minsk pasaziski railway station, the main railway station of Minsk. The station was built in 1873 as Valensky Vaxel. The initial wooden building was demolished in 1890 and rebuilt in stone. During World War II the Minsk railway station was completely destroyed. It was rebuilt in 1945 and 1946 and served until 1991. The new building of the minsk pasaziski railway station was built during 1991–2002. Its construction was delayed due to financial difficulties. Now, however, Minsk boasts one of the most modern and up-to-date railway stations in the CIS. There are plans to move all suburban rail traffic from minsk pasaziski to the smaller stations, Minsk, Ushotny East, Minsk Portnyavy South, and Minsk Pownosny North. By 2020, there are three intercity bus stations that link Minsk with the suburbs and other cities in Belarus and the neighboring countries. Frequent schedules of bus routes connect Minsk to Moscow, Smolensk, Vilnius, Riga, Kiev, and Warsaw. Topic. Airports Minsk National Airport is located 42 km 26 miles to the east of the city. It opened in 1982 and the current railway station opened in 1987. It is an international airport with flights to Europe and the Middle East. Minsk 1 opened in 1933 a few kilometers to the south of the historical center. In 1955 it became an international airport and by 1970 served over 1 million passengers a year. From 1982 it mainly served domestic routes in Belarus and short haul routes to Moscow, Kiev and Kaliningrad. Minsk 1 was expected to be closed in 2008 because of the noise pollution in the surrounding residential areas, but in the mid 2010 it is still functioning. The land of the airport is planned to be redeveloped for residential and commercial real estate, currently branded as Minsk City. Minsk Borovaya Airfield (UMMB) is situated in a suburb northeast of the city, next to Zalyany Lu Forest Park, housing Aero Club Minsk and Minsk Aviation Museum. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education. It has about 451 kindergartens, 241 schools, 22 further education colleges, and 29 higher education institutions, including 12 major national universities. Topic major higher educational institutions Academy of Public Administration under the aegis of the President of the Republic of Belarus the Academy was established in 1991 and it acquired the status of a presidential institution in 1995. In structure of Academy three institutes, Institute of Administrative Personnel has three departments, Institute of Civil Service has also three departments and Research Institute of the Theory and Practice of Public Administration. Belarusian State University Major Belarusian Universal University, founded in 1921. In 2006 had 15 major departments Applied Mathematics and Informatics, Biology, Chemistry, Geography, Economics, International Relations, Journalism, History, Humanitarian Sciences, Law, Mechanics and Mathematics, Philology, Philosophy and Social Sciences, Physics, Radiophysics and Electronics. It also included five R&D institutes, 24 research centers, 114 R&D laboratories. The university employs over 2,400 lecturers and 1,000 research fellows, 1,900 of these hold Ph.D. or Dr. S.C. degrees. There are 16,000 undergraduate students at the university, as well as over 700 Ph.D. students. 
In 2018 Olga Chapris was the first female vice-rector appointed to the institution Academic Work and Educational Innovations. Belarusian State University of Agricultural Technology. Specialized in agricultural technology and agricultural machinery. Belarusian National Technical University. Specialized in technical disciplines. Belarusian State Medical University. Specialized in medicine and dentistry. Since 1921 Medicine Department of the Belarusian State University. In 1930 becomes separate as Belarusian Medical Institute. In 2000 upgraded to university level. Currently has six departments. Belarusian State Economic University. Specialized in finance and economics. Founded in 1933 as Belarusian Institute for National Economy. Upgraded to university level in 1992. Maxim Tank Belarusian State Pedagogical University. Specialized in teacher training for secondary schools. Belarusian State University of Informatics and Radioelectronics. Specialized in IT and radioelectronic technologies. Established in 1964 as Minsk Institute for Radioelectronics. Belarusian State University of Physical Training. Specialized in sports, coaches and PT teachers training. Belarusian State Technological University. Specialized in chemical and pharmaceutical technology, in printing and forestry. Founded in 1930 as Forestry Institute in Homel. In 1941 evacuated to Sverdlovsk, now Yekaterinburg. Returned to Gommel in 1944, but in 1946 relocated to Minsk as Belarusian Institute of Technology. Upgraded to university level in 1993. Currently has nine departments. Minsk State Linguistic University. Specialized in foreign languages. Founded in 1948 as Minsk Institute for Foreign Languages. In 2006 had eight departments. Major focus on English, French, German and Spanish. Belarusian State University of Culture and Arts. Specializes in cultural studies, visual and performing arts. Founded in 1975 as Minsk Institute of Culture. Reorganized in 1993. International Sakharov Environmental Institute. Specialized in environmental sciences. Established in 1992 with the support from the United Nations. Focus on study and research of radioecological consequences of the Chernobyl nuclear power station disaster in 1986, which heavily affected Belarus. International Institute of Labor and Social Relations. Specializes in international economic relations, international law, marketing, finance and management. It is established by Federations of Trade Unions of Belarus. Minsk Institute of Management. The largest private higher educational institution in Belarus. Established in 1991. Specializes in economics, management, marketing, finance, psychology and information technology. Honors <laughs> 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 A minor planet 3012 Minsk discovered by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Chernik in 1979 is named after the city. Notable residents Andrei Arlovsky, grew up and lived in Minsk before moving to the U.S. to fight in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Victoria Azarenka, former world number no. one tennis player and 2012 and 2013 Australian Open winner, born in Minsk, moving to Arizona at 16. Yuri Besmirny, kickboxer. Svetlana Boganskaya, gold medal winning gymnast at the 1988 and 1992 Olympics, birthplace. Isaac Bolslavsky, chess grandmaster. Marsha Bruskina, World War II partisan 
Olga Chapris, first female vice rector of the Belarusian State University. Darya Domrasheva, gold, four times, and bronze medal winning biathlete at the 2010 and 2014 Winter Olympics. Dmitry Elyashkevich, producer and camera operator, birthplace. Avraham Ivan Shoshin, 1906 to 84, Israeli linguist and lexicographer. Sophie Fedorovich, ballet, opera and theatre designer, birthplace Boris Gelfand, chess grandmaster Max Geller, born 1971, Israeli Olympic wrestler Ella German, born 1937, girlfriend of Lee Harvey Oswald Moise Ginsberg, constructivist architect Marina Gordon, soprano, birthplace Alexei Ignashov, kickboxer, multiple Muay Thai and K1 world champion. Irma John Zem, 1897-1975, mezzo-soprano singer and folk song specialist. Oleg Karavayev, wrestler and Olympic champion. Boris Kaikin, conductor. Marina Linchuk, fashion model. Ivan Lubenikov, Russian painter, birthplace Louis Burt Mayer, American film producer, one of the founders of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Isaac Mazel, chess master Max Murney, tennis player Bronislava Nijinska, ballerina and choreographer of the Ballets Russes, birthplace Lee Harvey Oswald, assassin of U.S. President John F. Kennedy, resided in Minsk from January 1960 to June 1962. Yulia Raskina, individual rhythmic gymnast, won the all-around silver at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. Alexander Rybak, winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2009 for Norway, birthplace. Yuri Shulman, chess grandmaster Vanda Sporadovic, Roman Catholic activist Mark Slavin, Israeli Olympic Greco-Roman wrestler and victim of the Munich Massacre at the 1972 Summer Olympics Anna Smashnova, born 1976, Belarus-born Israeli tennis player Rachel Wishnitzer, architect and art historian Simcha Zorin, World War II partisan International relations Twin towns and sister cities Minsk is twinned with See also List of squares in Minsk